Today, we're in the herd with women's basketball. It is Hero Appreciation Day at Soika Pavilion on Saturday as the Bison welcome Holy Cross for a key Patriot League contest. Coach Aaron Russell says that his team will be challenged by a Crusaders squad that has an incredible amount of talent. You've got two post players that are among the best players in the league. You know, Manis, you know, obviously preseason player of the year. A lot of coaches think she is the best player in the league. And very, very tough cover, and we've had our hands full with her over the years. Coach Russell says he thinks this year's Hero Appreciation Day will be really special because each member of his team will be wearing special warm-up shirts. This year with kind of each of our kids representing a family of a fallen soldier, that really hits home. It's impossible not to read a bio, it's impossible not to see a picture of somebody that's been affected to the highest degree and not feel something. And I think it's a good lesson for our players and hopefully something that really will drive home. In connection with Hero Appreciation Day, Coach Russell had Sergeant Major Kevin Bittenbender speak to the team about what their legacy could be. I've been deployed three times. And during those, uh, those three deployments, uh, one of which uh, in Afghanistan stood out the most. I lost three of my closest friends uh, in an ambush. My team leader, Major Hank Officier, uh, and I was a senior leader, I was a sergeant major, and uh, we were planning for the mission to go forward um, in through uh, this operation the following day. And he and I had the same type of respect. I'd call him Major, I would call him Sir, and he would call me Sergeant Major. And I had a nickname on the team, Bit. My last name is Bittenbender, so people just say, hey, Bit, right? But he never, never called me that. After we get done with our briefing, he just kind of, he and I were the only two in the room, and he'd say, hey, Bit. And it kind of took me off surprise because that's like calling your coach someone, you know, by her first name. You know, that's like, that's voodoo, right? You don't do that. He said, let me ask you a quick question. I said, yeah, sure. And uh, he says, uh, what do you want your legacy to be? So I just kind of like was dumbfounded by this off the wall question that he asked me. And I said, well, let me just give you a textbook answer. I said, I just want to leave things better than what I find them. That's what I want to be known for. And then I just took a pause. I said, well, let me take that back. You deserve a better answer than me just coming off the cuff with an answer for you, OK? And I said, you know, I'd like to think about it and give you a solid answer if that's OK. He said, no problem. The following day, we went out on mission on the 27th, and, uh, and Major Fissier was killed, along with two other my close friends. And for the longest time, that, that bit of history, you would say, haunted me. You have to think about the legacy you want to leave behind here, because you may not have a second chance to, to do that. You may not have that opportunity right, to do that again. So you have to make the best of the opportunities that you have and to really think hard as to what legacy you want to leave behind. Senior forward Megan Nicholson says that Sergeant Major Bittenbender's speech made her think of her father, who also served in the U.S. Armed Forces, joining the Air Force when he was just 18 years old. He retired a couple years ago, um, not too long ago, I think it's probably six years. Um, but now he's serving for the Army Corps Engineers, so he's still back out there helping people. Um, but yeah, his retirement ceremony really, I was like, wow, he did this for a long time. Like he really invested himself. So definitely hits home, um, makes me feel like I, that's what I need to do also. As Coach Russell said, the special warm-up shirts that his team will wear will have names of U.S. service people who have been killed in combat. Ben Bender says he has never heard of any other college team doing something like this before. You're shooting shirts that you're going to have, you're going to have names on the back. And what we're going to try to do is uh, bring some of those families to the games so that you have kind of a clear perspective as to who you're wearing on the back, a little biography of, of that person. The tip-off between Bucknell and Holy Cross at Soika Pavilion on Saturday will be at 2 p.m.